it hit the fan. But you know, the way things are working, Alex, uh, with the executive and the Congress and parts of our judicial system all kind of complicit in these crimes against our Constitution. Now, that was from earlier today on the Alex Jones Show in an interview with former top CIA analyst Ray McGovern. Now, I think it was very interesting that in this interview with Snowden in the Wired magazine issue that's coming up next month, that they also interviewed James Bamford. Now, he's the guy who blew the whistle on the Northwoods documents, perhaps the, the most documented false flag terror operation of all time, Operation Northwoods. And James Bamford, who is a U.S. Navy intelligence analyst who became a best-selling author and, and journalist, well, he was able to get his hands on the Northwoods document through the Freedom of Information Act for his book, Body of Secrets that was released back in 2002. The Northwoods document itself was authored by General Lyman Limitzer, the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Pentagon. Now, this was back in 1962. It was used as an excuse to invade Cuba and go after Fidel Castro. Luckily, by the time it reached JFK's desk, he rejected it. And rumors have it that JFK fired General Limitzer as a result of the madness. Now, here's what's in the Northwoods document. It called for violent terrorism to be launched on the streets of Washington, D.C., Miami, and elsewhere across America. It called for innocent people to be shot on American streets. Snipers to shoot and kill our own troops stationed at Gitmo. They wanted to sink a boatload of Cuban refugees escaping Cuba to Florida. People would be framed for bombings that they did not commit. And, you know, a lot of this sounds eerily familiar to 9-11. Operation Northwoods called for commercial airliners to be hijacked. They wanted to crash a passenger airliner into the ocean, preferably full of high school and college students, because that would have, you know, really upset the American public. So these people were obviously maniacal. They were crazy, and it was approved and undoubtedly would have got the green light if JFK had not rejected it. It is a dramatic example of what our government is capable of doing. And for those of you who call this a crazy conspiracy theory, I can already see the comments on YouTube, wake up and smell the tyranny. The, uh, the Operation Northwoods, it's a living, breathing, live document. It exists in the National Archives. It was obtained by the Freedom of Information Act. It was signed off by the uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Pentagon. So it is real. And I'm wondering if somewhere in the volumes of documents that, uh, that are in right now in the possession of Edward Snowden, perhaps there is more evidence, more proof of false flag terrorism. Back to Rob Dew. Thanks, Darren, for that report. I would just like to add the uh, Joint Chiefs who wrote Operation Northwoods and signed off on it, Mr. Uh, Lemonser, uh, went to work for NATO after he was fired by John F. Kennedy to work on Project Gladio, another false flag operation. Now stay tuned. Coming up, we're going to explain why we have a uh, bunch of toothpaste here on the desk. I assure you it's for your health. As long as you eat the toothpaste here, it's all for your health. Here at Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. City of Austin tap water versus filtered City of Austin tap water. I can like taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. This has an aftertaste. Tastes like Austin water? Yeah, it does. Ugh. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. High quality H2O. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, Monsanto's deadly pesticide, glyphosate, and many others. 
Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. It has uh, that uh, processed flavor to it. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances and many more, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. <laughs> Go to InfoWarsStore.com today. Use promo code WATER and save 10% off your ProPure purchase. Again, that's InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Welcome back to the InfoWars Nightly News. Before we get into this pile of fluoride-infused toothpaste, I want to do a quick check with our Ustream channel, Real Alex Jones. As you can see, it looks like they're uh, doing some interviews. They've also uh, showed a mass of police that have come into the area, it looks like. Yeah, there you see them. Tanks, officers in riot gear, and it looks like it's going to be another daytime showdown in Ferguson in North St. Louis. Um, Hopefully everybody stays safe. Hopefully the protesters remain peaceful and hopefully the cops don't get trigger happy and start shooting people with rubber belt, uh, pellets, bean bags, and tear gas. Hopefully this can all stay peaceful, but we do need to be out there illustrating the fact that our military has gone out of control. Now let's move on to fluoride, which is the reason for this lovely display here. This is out of the mail online. Chemical used by Colgate Total Toothpaste to fight off gum disease is linked to cancer. And a chemical that has been linked to cancer cell growth is being used by millions of Americans in toothpaste every day it has emerged. The company behind Colgate Total insists that triclosan, which is to stave off gum disease, is safe because the toothpaste was approved in 1997 by the Food and Drug Administration. But toxicology documents used by the FDA to approve toothpaste were only released early this year after a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit. The, and revealed the agency relied upon company-backed science to reach its conclusion. And that was out of Bloomberg News. Well, I got news for you, and I'm about to prove it to you. Everyone but two of these toothpastes on here is filled with poison, and it's not this triclosan. It is fluoride, which is now right behind me. And in fact, that's just a giant blow up of what you find on the back of every fluoridated toothpaste. In fact, we're going to start with the Colgate Total. Here it is, whitening paste. So we look at the back. You can see the active ingredients. There, active ingredients, sodium fluoride, 0.24% anti-cavity. It also has triclosan, 0.30%. So there's the other cancer-causing chemical. But look at the warning. Warning, keep out of reach of children under six years of age. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Now, why would they do that? Why would they put a warning there in toothpaste if it's, you know, it's supposed to be good for you? Well, let's check out another one. Here's Sensodyne. It's another toothpaste, a, a toothpaste for sensitive teeth and cavity protection. Uh, once again, they have stannous fluoride right there. And um, let's see, warning, if irritation, discontinue use, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, keep out of reach of children. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. There it is, right there. Another fluoridated toothpaste with a warning about swallowing it. Aquafresh. Fluoride toothpaste, extreme clean with microactive foaming action. Whoa, all right. Active ingredient, sodium fluoride. There it is. And once again, um, use a pea-sized amount and active ingredients. Keep out of reach children under six years of age. If you accidentally swallow more than is used for brushing, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Do you see a pattern emerging? Do you see the fact that well, technically, you're brushing your teeth with poison because they're saying if you swallow it, contact poison control. You're not supposed to put this fluoridated toothpaste in your body. Now, let's move to one more. This is Crest Complete. Crest Complete with Scope Dual Blast. Boy, they just really shine this stuff up. This has got it over here. Sodium fluoride active ingredient. Warning, keep out of reach of children under six years of age. If more than is used for brushing, is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact Poison Control Center immediately. They have the uniformity of the warning. It's everywhere, okay? 
Now let's look at, here's a toothpaste called Tom's of Maine. Here we see the ingredients, uh, no fluoride, no sodium fluoride, no hexafluorosilicate, nothing like that. And there's nothing about not swallowing it. Does, doesn't seem to matter if you swallow the fluoride-free toothpaste. That doesn't seem to matter. Now let's look at some children's toothpaste. Here's Kids Crest with cavity protection, and it's got sparkle fun. Sparkle fun right there. It's got sparkle fun just for you. Fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste. All right, just for you kids. There you go. Oh, it's got a little sodium fluoride in there and really good for you. Want to keep out of reach children under six years of age, but wait, this is for my kids. Oh. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Do not swallow. Do not swallow. It says it right there. Do not swallow. Has fluoride in it. Do not swallow it. Now, last toothpaste here. This is uh, Colgate My First, fluoride free. And on the front, it says safe if swallowed. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Huh. So it says nothing about uh, if you swallow this contact poison control. So, what are we looking at? Obviously, it seems to be that fluoride is the one common denominator which will make you call poison control if you happen to swallow it. And I know you might not still believe me, that's fine. I'd like to turn your attention to an article that I wrote back in 2010. At one time, I did write a couple articles for Infowars.com and then I got more into the TV section. But this is from July 28, 2010. Um, this was kind of my answer back to a WorldNet Daily writer who was laughing at people who were concerned about fluoride. WorldNet Daily Writer says fluoride is good for you. An open letter to Phil Elmore, who was the writer of this article. And it basically goes through the history of why they started fluoridating, um, different incidents that happened, one of which was a tanker truck full of uh, uh, fluorosilicic acid, which is what they put in our water. Uh, a tanker spilled over on the interstate in Florida, and they had to close down the interstate, and people were getting sick. Crazy stuff. I have some tables in there about the parts per million that they're adding to uh, that they recommend to add to schools and communities for water. But if you keep going down underneath that, uh, that secondary maximum containment level, which talks about what fluoride can do to you, and the only bad thing they say about fluoride is that you get tooth discoloration. Well, here we go. Dr. William L. Marcus, senior science advisor of the EPA's Office of Drinking Water, was fired in response to a 1990 whistleblowing memo calling for a review of the cover-up of the National Toxicology Program study that demonstrated fluoride as a probable human carcinogen. The, and here it is from that memo. The type of cancer of particular concern with, uh, with fluoride, although not the only type, is osteosarcoma, especially in males. The National Toxicology Program conducted a two-year study in which rats and mice were given sodium fluoride in their drinking water. The positive result of that study in which malignancies in tissues and other bones were observed, particularly in male rats, is conversion with host data showing that fluoride's ability to cause mutations and inducing cells to become cancerous. So there you go. There's another cancer-causing chemical in your toothpaste, not just the one in Colgate Total, which is the triclosan. It is sodium fluoride. Yet, why do they continue to put it in our drinking water? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Even in 2014, back in February, a Harvard study came out, fluoride lowers children's IQ intelligence by seven IQ points. This was published out of Washington's blog, and you can read about the study there and the different effects of it. And just so you don't think I'm a crazy tinfoil hat-wearing conspiracy theorist, here is the actual Harvard study. Right here, impact of fluoride on neurological development in children. And if you read through, it talks about how they studied uh, kids in China where there was hard and heavy fluoridation, and they found an average of seven IQ points drop in children in that area who were drinking fluoridated water. So you have to ask yourself, why do we fluoridate our water? We fluoridate our water here in Austin, Texas. You know how much they put in? They put in nine gallons an hour of this hydrofluorosilicic acid poison into our water. In fact, we're gonna roll a little bit of footage here that was shot of a water treatment facility here in Austin, Texas that shows the fluoride tanks. And on top, on those tanks, it lists the MSDS, which you can see right there, is a four. That is the worst level of human reactivity. It can cause death, it can cause sickness, just in minute concentrations. Yet they tell you they want to put it into your water for your teeth. Yet every toothpaste label says don't swallow it. Do you see the illogical going on? I see the illogical, it's right there in front of me. 
They tell you not to swallow the toothpaste, yet it's okay to put it in your water to drink it. I want to end this segment with a little video from Dr. Conant, Paul Conant, who has visited our studio several